Hi there guys, it's Street Opinion. My name is Blessing Uwe and Street Opinion is brought to you by AIG Media Pro TV. So we are on the streets of Lagos to hear people's opinion on INEX postponement of the election that was supposed to hold today, the 16th of February 2019. So let's go to the street and hear people's opinion on the postponement of the election. I know that my people are gingering, they are angry. So let's go, come on and let's hear from them. Really, I'm not really into this politics thing. I didn't really have a mind to vote today, but uh, this is a country. You don't just wake up in the middle of the night and just cancel the election. It's not normal. If you check it out, seriously, it's for the betterment of this country. What I believe is that even if they want to postpone the, ele the election, it's not supposed to be like, uh, maybe it's, too, it's just too, too close. We call them a professional. And they should be professional on their own job. No, we're used to it. This is not the first time they're postponing the election. So, but the sudden postponements, when people are sleeping and they're ready to vote the following morning, or what you just see is that, oh, waking up to see the news that by 3 a.m. a meeting was held and I next decided to postpone the election due to logistic issues and operational issues, which I think if all these things are being put in place from maybe like on Monday, they will have cropped all these postponements of the stuff. This is not the first time that the election has been postponed. But the only thing I notice here is that uh, it is too late. Um, what I would say about today, it's not like a... We shouldn't be surprised now. We shouldn't be surprised because Nigeria itself is not even organized. If they can postpone the election at this 11th hour of redoing the election, it's not, it's not right now. A country as great as Nigeria, I never see any reason all of a sudden overnight they had to postpone the election for a reason based on them. Though I heard they said it's because they wanted to conduct a free and fair election, but in my opinion, I never think that Nigeria has ever conducted any election that is free and fair. Seriously, it's very bad. Honestly. Can you imagine this morning, I'm all the way from Ikeja down to this place, I stay in Tanzania for one year. I spent like 1,000 Naira, it's not up to 500 Naira to get here. But because of the situation, why would, in fact, why would they postpone the election? For what? The INEC, they know better. Do you understand? And at the other side, they don't want any manipulation. So they want to put things in a straight order so that we can follow uh, due process or protocol. I think it's very disappointing. They had four years to prepare and to just come a few hours to the polls and just Nigerians just wake up while we were asleep, they were cancelling the election. Just wake up in the morning and say the elections have been cancelled. Totally absurd. Totally absurd. This is not even a country. Like, I woke up this morning to that news and I'm like, how did I even find myself in Nigeria? How come I'm a Nigerian? How do you wake up to something so absurd like that? How can they just wake up and say, oh, the election has been postponed? It's so absurd. The, uh, the postponement is for betterment. All what they know that they have not been right, they will not be doing right, they will correct themselves. Well, reason best known to them, I wouldn't say it's to their own benefit or to our own benefit, but I'm not in INEC, so I wouldn't say. The postponement is for is never for our own benefit. It's for their own political career. I would say it's for the betterment of uh, of us. To me, I believe it's for their own benefit. The benefit of the INEC, maybe the other party, one party has, uh, you know, bribe them or whatever, I don't know, I don't know. So I think it's for their own self-interest though. I don't know, but the, for me, it's not really for my own better. They should have just done the election and know, why would they postpone election on the same day? Like now, I'm very hungry, I need to go and get food and I don't even know if they open or not. It's not a, the betterment of the citizen. Who knows whether it's for good or bad? We can't really know, but me personally, it's very suspicious and I think it just doesn't smell right. Of course, not to my betterment. They, they are part of their own corrupt corruption, whatever they have in mind. I don't think it's for our own benefit. Maybe it's for their own selfish interest or whatever reason they call it or for. A lot of people, business have, will be crumbled today. Students that have gone home for holidays, will they stay home for a month, a week rather? Or will you ask them to come back on Tuesday when they say they will resume and go back on Thursday? So these are, I wouldn't say it favors the masses or the public, but to their own favor. That's what I felt. Uh, well, me personally, it hasn't been really affected, but I know someone who 
postponed his wedding to next week. So all the plans, that's double, you know, he postponed it to next week. Now he has to postpone it again. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm a one-man business. And everybody has scheduled today that, okay, there's election today. And suddenly it was cancelled. There was no any notice, no at least it's at least 12 uh, hours notice. There's no any notice. Just this suddenly this morning, we just discovered that the election cannot commence again. So guys, we've heard from people on what they think and feel of INEX postponement of the election. The effect have not really done well in the lives of the citizen as it has demoralized their plans for the day. Well, till I come your way next time on Street Opinion, I am blessing Uwem from AIG Media Pro TV. Bye.